Seventh grade, Noah Ryan and Quentin Brown. And eighth grade, Logan Keeney and Braylon Fanon. Gentlemen, sorry we came in a little late. We had some technical problems, but tonight we have the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings versus Morgan Township. Morgan Township comes into the game uh, three and one, and Tippecanoe Valley one and two. Uh, I'm here with Max Ponder. I'm Chase Howard, and uh, welcome to the boys' basketball game. Now we're at tip off, and Valley wins it. Kyler Johnson misses it. Spratley with it. Passes it to Holder. Holder gives it back. Spratley now has the ball. Finding, try, trying to find someone open. Valley with some nice defense. Holder with the ball. Spratley now has it. Gives it to Havlin. Havlin back to Wheeler. Wheeler drives the ball. Havlin now has the ball. Completely knocks it out. So now Morgan Township will have the ball. They will retain the ball. Holder now has it. Loses it to Stephen Acase. Kyler Johnson now has it. Trying to find someone open. Gives it to Cohen. Or Cowan, excuse me. Cowan back to Acase. Acase to Johnson. Johnson to Cooksey. Cooksey to Acase. So foul on the Vikings. Valley offensive foul, number 23, Stephen Acasse. His first so now has Holder is now past the half. Wheeler now has it. With Hamilton right on him. Holder now has it. Passes to Wheeler. Wheeler passes back to Holder. Does it to Havlin? Havlin shoots it for three. Air balls it. Rebounded by Township. Loose ball. So now the Vikings get it. And Cowan's going to be passing it in. A, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me, Akase actually passed it in. So now Cohen now has it. Or Cowan. Cowan to Kyler. Johnson. Johnson trying to find somebody. He's going to drive it. Spins. Shoots it. Makes it. 
Tyler Johnson. So Wheeler gives it to Holder. With Hamilton on him. Holder finds it open, gives it. Touch, blast out by Hamilton. So Township's going to get the ball. Brantley's going to be passing it in. Gives it the holder. Holder needs to get back on the other half. He's over the half now. Screen set by Grieger. Brantley with it. Brantley shoots it. Makes it. So Cowan, past the half to Hamilton. Johnson pushes up into the paint. Makes it. With the foul, too, so he'll be out the line. Shooting for one. Cherokee foul, number 22, Aiden Rieger, his first, team's first. Basket by Kyler Johnson, he'll be at the line, shooting one. Makes the one. So Holder. Holder shoots it for three. Just barely makes it. Hamilton gets it, passes to Cowan. Cowan passes to Coxie. Ooh, roughing for the ball. Morgan Township gets it. Spranley's gonna be passing it for Morgan Township. Passes it to Holder. Hamilton with some press on him. Cooksey with the defense. He drives it, blocks. But they're going to call a shooting foul on that. Foul on the Vikings. Foul number two, Nick Cooksey, his first team second. Jaden Sprantley in the line, shooting two. So Sprantley is shooting for two since he was fouled. Makes the one. So has one more to shoot. Swishes it in. Scores four to five. Cowan with the ball. Cowan to Akase. Akase trying to find someone open. He's going to dribble it, drive it in. Bumps up, shoots it, makes it. Steven Akase. Holder with the ball now. He's going to drive it with Hamilton. Nice defense. A little shove. Misses it. Rebounded by Hamilton. Cowan now has it. Cowan passes the half. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson to Akase. Back to Johnson. Johnson fakes it. Hits a right. So, steal by Morgan Township. Holder with the ball now. Passes it to Cavlin. Holder to Wheeler. Wheeler driving it. Found the Vikings. So this is going to send him to the line shooting for two. Or excuse me, not shooting at the line, excuse me. We have Wheeler set up in the corner. No one's on him. Holder, passes to Sprantley. Sprantley, back to Holder. Holder drives it. Back to Sprantley, shoots it. Misses, and travel. To Cowan with the ball now. He's going to waste some time. He's going to fake it a little. Cooksey now has the ball. Johnson, bounce pass, but doesn't complete it. So Holder now has the ball. Sprantley cuts. Holder shoots. Makes it. There's going to be a timeout on the Vikings. My name is Chase Howard. I'm with RTCTV4, and we will be right back after this short ad. We are back from that timeout. Three minutes left on the clock. Like I said, Valley is one and two. They lost their first two games. Just one 
Bremen. So Cowan with the ball. Gives it to Cooksey. Cooksey needs to find. Gives it to Johnson. Cowan now has it. Cowan to Cooksey. Cooksey's finally going to shoot it. First shot of the game. Makes the three. Makes it a four-point difference between the Vikings and the Morgan Township. Grigor shoots the three and makes it. So now they responded back. Cowan has the ball now. Gives it to Akase. Akase's going to drive it. Shoots it. Makes it. Now we're back at that three-point difference. Holder with the ball. Drives the ball. Passes it all the way to Grigor. Makes it. Responds. Ties up the game. 12-12. So Cowan with the ball. Vikings are going to need to respond. They need to keep the lead up. Hamilton gives it to Cooksey. Cooksey trying to find somebody. Gives it to Cowan. Cowan fakes it. Drives it. Get, needs to get to someone. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson to Akase. Last touch by Akase. Morgan Township now gets the ball. So Sprantley's going to be passing it in. Grieger, or Holder, excuse me, has the ball now. Holder's past the half now. Sprantley. Sprantley passes to Havlin. Havlin going to drive it. Right through Johnson. Gives him that two. Morgan Township is now up. Cowan with the ball now. The Vikings are going to need to respond to this. They need to set up the screens. They need to find some availability. Pick and roll. That's what they need, I believe. Cowan with the ball again. Passes to Cooksey, shoots the three, splashes the three, puts the Vikings right back up. So now Holder has the ball. Holder tries to fake out Hamilton, drives it straight to the lane, makes it. Cowan drives it a little. He needs to get rid of it. So they're going to call a foul. So Vikings do keep the ball, though. Cowan's going to be passing it in. Passes it to Cooksey. Back to Cowan. All behind the back court. Cowan's past the half now. Not a lot of movement. Players are just kind of... Cooksey to Akase. Cowan... Fight for the ball. Hamilton gets it, makes it. Less than 30 seconds left on the clock. Sprantley now has it, gives it to Havlin. Sprantley still has it. Holder shoots. Rebounded by. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, rebounded by Wes Parker. Parker to Cooksey. Five seconds left on the clock. They could just waste time, or they might rebounded by Morgan Ship. They're just going to throw it. Doesn't touch the, the backboard, but Vikings are up by one. Um, down with Max Ponder. Now, Max Ponder, what do you think about this game? How do you feel about it? I mean, it's only in the first quarter. Close game already. A lot of threes from Morgan Township, but the Vikings seem to respond. How do you feel about the game? Um, I think the Vikings are doing a good job by keeping with them yep. and not falling behind, and they're also doing a good job of staying with them. And as you said, yeah, it is a very close game so far for it being the first quarter. Yeah, it is. Very fast, close game. Uh, entertaining game. I love these games where each team responds back to the other, but Vikings seem to do a little better, jo a little better job since they're up by one. But uh, we're going to be in the second quarter, and uh, I feel like maybe the maybe they'll some, someone's going to lead, I feel like. I, I have a prediction that someone's going to, lead off into the game but I mean there's still a whole nother half and three more quarters so I expect a lot and like I said earlier I feel like the Vikings need to set up pick and roll screens there's not a lot of availability they're not able to find someone open and when they do it feels like Morgan Township is just going to get the steals or maybe they'll hit it and you know get a little tap ball touch it a little bit but nothing nothing is very smooth feeling with the Vikings but I mean like I said they are up so whatever they're doing is still working but maybe they can keep keep a bigger lead if they maybe set like I said a set up pick and roll screens you know so Sprantling is going to be passing them for Morgan Township 
Sprantley gives it to Holder. Holder back to Sprantley. Sprantley's finding somebody. Gives it to Wheeler. Shoots it. Three. Cowan now has the ball. Cowan gives it to Parker. Parker gives it to Cooksey. Cooksey. Trying to find, find, finds Akase. Akase drives it, loses the ball. But there's going to be a foul called on that. So is going to be at the line shooting for two. If he makes both, this could tie up the game. This is the first, so he won't be tying up the game, but they could make it a one-point difference, which makes it a super close game. It makes the other, so now it's just going to be a one-point difference, keeping a very close, tight game. So Holder now has it. Holder and Sprantley. Sprantley now has it. Sprantley finds Wheeler. Right back to Sprantley. Sprantley's going to drive it. Shoots. Foul. By Cooksey, so Sprantley's going to be at the line shooting for two. Number two, Ian Cooksey, his second, team's first of the quarter. James Wetley in the line, shooting two. Nice, smooth swish. Has one more to shoot. And he makes it. That was a three-point difference. Cowan with the ball. Parker now has it. Tight defense. Willingham with great defense. Cowan. Right to, right to Hamilton, but travel. But if Hamilton would have made that, that would have been nice. Would have been a one-point difference. So Blaine Sheets comes in for Hamilton. Sprantley passes it in for Holder, or to Holder. Cowan trying to press him. Holder back to Sprantley. To Wheeler. Holder. Sprantley now has it again. Holder has it. Holder's going to drive it. Passes it. Wellingham now has it. Wheeler shoots an open three, but misses. Rebounded by a fight for the ball, but Sprantley gets it. Loose ball. Parker gets it. Travel. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was a very obvious travel. So Morgan Ship gets it. Sprantling's going to be passing it in. Holder now has it. Cowan still pressing. So Holder's going to be driving it. Completely misses. But she has it. Passes to Cowan. Cowan's going to run up to it. Get, He's going gonna to drive a little bit, but now Parker has it, loses it, but gets it right back. Cowan has it. Ooh, just loses it. Rebounded by Wellingham. So now Holder has it. Holder's driving it, passes it straight to Wellingham, wide open, makes it. And another timeout by the Tippecanoe New Valley Vikings. This is their second one. They have three left. Five minutes on the clock. Cowan passes it back to Akase. Akase. Cowan now has it. Cowan still has the ball. Gives it to Parker. Johnson. Cooksey shoots it for three. Misses. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson misses. A little tough. Cowan now has it. Shoots it. Makes it. Three-point difference now. Sprantley has it. Or excuse me, not Sprantley. A half one now has it. The Vikings get the ball back. Hamilton checks in. 
So he's going to check in for Parker. Now Hamilton, he doesn't put up a lot of points, but he gets every rebound. If he wants a rebound, he's going to get it. So Cowan's going to be passing in for the Vikings. Cowan to Cooksey. Stay behind the back. As soon as they cross, they cross. Cowan cross. Cowan passes to Cooksey. Cooksey with a little fake. Johnson now has it to Akase. Akase's going to drive it. Charging foul on the Vikings. Akase. This is the fourth foul in the half. So Wheeler's going to pass it in for Morgan Township. So Wheeler passes it to uh, Holder. So Wheeler now has it again. Wheeler's now past the half. Sheets right behind him. Set screen. Wheeler passes the Holder. Holder fakes it. Loses the ball a little. Wheeler with it. Havlin. Holder. Holder's going to drive it. Passes to Wheeler. Wheeler. This is the Wellingham. Back to Wheeler. The Jeff. Misses. Rebounded by Sheets. Now Cowan has it. Cowan's going to pass it back to Sheets. Cooksey now has it. Hamilton. This is the Cowan. Wide open three. Misses the open three, but Sheets has it. Cooksey. Now Cooksey's a good shooter. Misses it, though. Sheets with another rebound. Come on. Johnson now has it. Passes it. Cowan. And they're going to call another travel. I believe this is like the fifth travel court on the Vikings now. Now, I probably had their, the game that they had against Southside is that they kept losing the ball. Now, instead of them dribbling it, they're just walking with it, and they're going to call traveled. Sprantley now has it. Sprantley passes to Wellingham. Not Wellingham, excuse me, Grieger. Holder has it. Shoots it. Hamilton with the rebound. Cowan has it. Cowan finds Cooksey. Cooksey shoots. Misses Hamilton rebound and makes it. One point difference. Point has been scored in two minutes until now. So another foul on Morgan Township. This is their fourth one in the half. Sheets is going to be passing in for the Tiffany Valley Vikings. Passes to Cowan. The Vikings need to get up. They said they haven't, no one scored in two minutes until just now. Sheets has it. Cowan. Cooksey. With Holder right on him. Shoots the three. Misses again. Rebounded by Holder. Holder's going to drive it. Spins. Shoots. So there's a holding foul. So a shooting foul on the Vikings. This is their fifth one in the half. Third in the quarter. So Parker's going to check right back in. Cooksey's going out. Jack Wheeler enters for the Cherokees. So I have one. Passes to Holder. Holder. Sprantley now has it. Sprantley. Tried to cause the foul, but he didn't get it. Sprant for Holder. Now Sprantley has it. Completely blocked by Sheets. And a shooting or a holding foul on uh, Sprantley on DeAndre Hamilton. So the Vikings retain the ball. So Sheets is going to pass it in for the Tiffany Valley Vikings again. Cowan has it. Cowan. This is the Parker. Parker to the Johnson. This is the Hamilton. Hamilton's going to lose the ball and another travel. 
This is unbelievable. Too many travels. Like I said, the last game, they just, they were losing the ball. Now they're traveling. It's, uh, they gotta stick to something. Parker with great defense. Wheeler with the ball though. The Sheets now has it. He's the find someone, finds Johnson. Parker now has it. Hamilton has it. Hamilton's open. Rolling him on him. Sheets has it, passes it straight to Johnson. So, so foul on Morgan Township. Allen's going to be passing it in. Morgan Township foul, number 22, eighth grader, his second. Team sport. So Parker's actually going to be passing it in for the Vikings. Parker is a sophomore, so he's the only sophomore playing on the varsity team. Or, excuse me, Cowan is as well. So there is two sophomores on him. Pa uh, Parker now has it. Wheeler on him. Screen set by Sheets. Parker still with the ball, though. Gives it to Sheets. Sheets gives it to Cooksey. Cooksey's going to open it up. Let this team move around a little bit. Maybe they can find somebody. Hamilton's going to do the exact same. He's going to find somebody. 47 seconds left on the clock. Parker, again, all open. They're trying to move around. I don't know if they're going to shoot at all. They are down by one. 30 seconds left on the clock. And another travel. Now, this is going to be the Vikings' weakness. It's the travel. So Wheeler passes it in the holder. Parker on holder. 20 seconds left on the clock. Holder's, he's got to find someone. Wheeler runs up, crosses. Wheeler now has it. Touched by DeAndre. Finds Havlin open, Havlin shoots it and makes it. And that is the end of the second quarter. This is leading in the halftime. Scores 25-22. Fouls are now reset. Everyone now has zero fouls. My name is Chase Howard. We're going to go into an ad pack, and uh, we'll be right They went against Glenn. Glenn figured out, okay, you guys drive a lot. We're going to, we're going to run a 2-3. You guys aren't going to pass this defense, and it worked. Uh, I think they almost lost. They lost by double digits for sure. So I'm going to say the Vikings just seem to work on the shooting. I mean, there are some different shooters, but they're just not doing as well. Like Cooksey, I mean, he is one shooter, but tonight he's just not doing as well. Yeah, I definitely agree with what you have to say. Okay, so now Akase has the ball. Johnson. Cooksey has it. So like right here, there's a lot of time that they can shoot it, and they pass it into the paint. But Akase, I mean, right there, he's going to make it. Like I said, there is some, there is some consistency. Like they, they can, they can drive the ball, but I mean, not. I mean, threes are better than twos, and when you make more threes than twos, threes are catching up to the twos. Um, so Akase is at the line. He's going to shoot for one. This could tie up the game. We pray that he makes this tie up the game, make it a lot closer. It's been a very exciting game already, so I can't wait to see at least two more quarters though. And he misses it. So Havlin with the ball now. Now Holder has it. Holder loses it. Last touched by, I believe, him. So no. Actually, it was the last touch by Cowan. Zipping New Valley Vikings. So now Morgan Township has it. Apparently, he's going to be passing it in. Havlin now has it. Have on the Wheeler. And Wheeler's another one. Like, look. Great court vision. Misses it. Rebounded by Johnson. So Johnson gives it to Cowan. Like I said, Cowan's a sophomore in here. He's, he's a very good sophomore. He's on the varsity team. Kase with it. He's going to drive it. Some little bumps. Cooksey is a good shooter. He could shoot it. Loses it. Cowan. Cowan to Hamilton. Johnson uses his height. So does Akase. Gets it. Misses it. Rebounded by Akase. Like I said, using that height. I mean, when you're big and heavy, I would use my weight and height. 
like he just did there. Sprantley now has it, or I mean Holder has it. Gives it to Sprantley. Sprantley's gonna drive it. Picks up shoot. Rebounded by Akase. Cowan. Hamilton. Hamilton's open. He could shoot this. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson straight to Akase. Nice vision by Johnson. Three point difference. Vikings are now back up. They haven't been back since the first quarter. Or, yeah, the first quarter. Cooksey. Touched by Johnson. So that's going to be a foul. That's going to send Sprantley to the line, shooting for two. All right, not shooting for two, excuse me. They're going to be passing it in. Sprantley. Finds Holder. Nice defense by Cowan. Rebounded by Hamilton again. Hamilton with the nice rebounds. Like, he's not like no big guy, but he gets some rebounds. Cowan drives it. Thought he was going to go for the foul. Rebounded by Johnson after some hits. And a foul on Township. So the Vikings keep the ball. Cowan's passing it in. Is it the Johnson? Johnson loses it, but gets it right back. Is it Akase? Hits it. Now I see something different. Now, now Morgan Township's calling the timeout. Now I'm not gonna go to an ad because I got a lot to say. I mean, the Vikings changed the game up. They've been up since the first quarter, second quarter, down the entire time, and now they're back up in the third. I see a lot from Johnson and Akase, two of the biggest players, both six six, using that great court vision, staying in the paint, bounce passes, everything, making everything that they want. It goes in. Nice rebounds. If uh, Morgan Township misses something, they get the they get the defensive rebound. They get the offensive rebounds. They get every rebound that they want. So something has changed since this last or since the first half. And we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back, back in the third. third quarter. Five minutes, 42 seconds. Vikings are up by five, 30 to 25. Morgan Township with two fouls. Jeff has the ball. Gives it to Havlin. Have on the sprint. Sprantley. Sprantley has six points in the game with three fouls, though. Wheeler passes it right to Sprantley, loses it. Is it Havlin gets it, though. Bounce pass to this, this Sprantley. So Akase now has it. Cowan. I said, like I've said before, in many games before, Akase is a big dude. He is strong, heavy, tall. He needs to use his body. And he's definitely. Probably a lot heavier than a lot of these guys. He can push through them without causing a foul and bounce pass right out caused by Cooksey. It was met for Akase. So hold it with the ball passed in by Sprantley. Holder now has it. Gives it to uh, Havlin. Havlin, the holder, finds Jeff. Jeff shoots it. First point that they've made so far. Three point difference, Cowan. Johnson wants the ball. And a timeout by the Tiffany Valley Vikings. They have two timeouts left. Now Max, do you have anything to say about this game now? This has been a very nice game. A lot of surprises I've, I've seen. So what do you got to say? Um, yeah, it's definitely nice that Valley's getting a few more points in than they were. Um, yeah, I'd say as well, like you're talking about a Steven yeah. being so big. He definitely should and needs to use his body a bit more to block. With, of course, without causing a foul. Yeah, but I will say in the last play where uh, Township had the ball, I will say Steven used his body quite well to make sure they, that he yes. blocked that play. Yeah, I was very surprised by that. I'm surprised they didn't call a foul. A lot of the uh, Morgan Township audience uh, was very disagreeing that that should have been a foul, but uh, mm -hmm. the refs controlled the game, and they said it wasn't a foul, so the game kept playing, and uh, yeah. The score is 30 to 27. Morgan Township is kind of catching up a little bit. It's three point difference. Also takes his one three to make it, but yeah. hopefully Valley will be able to keep up that lead. Holders with seven points. Sprantley right behind him with six for the Morgan Township. 
Stephen Acosta with 13 points with Ian Cooksey right behind him with six for the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. The timeout is now over. The Vikings get the ball. They're going to pass it in. Cowan's going to pass it in. Cowan's going to pass it to a Cooksey. Cowan gets the ball right back. Cowan to Cooksey. Cooksey shoots the three. Misses it. Kase gets the rebound. He's going to spin and cause a... Cause an unbelievable foul. I gotta disagree on that one. I I feel like he flopped. I don't I don't believe that he was even touched in that play, but the rest did call a foul, so that is a foul by the Tiffany Valley Vikings. This is their second one in the half and the quarter. Because they got the foul, hopefully Morgan Township can score up and make that foul worth it. Some nice uh screen by Havlin. Loses it, last touched by Morgan Township. So Tippecanoe Valley Vikings get it. Blaine Sheets is coming in for Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. Kase is going to go in. This is his first time going in tonight. Sheets has been in a few times. Kase with a lot of points. I think they're going to settle and chill out a little bit. Keep it consistent maybe. Cowan with the ball. He's past the half. Havlin waiting for him. Looks like he's stalking his prey. He's just prepared. Screen set by Sheets. Cowan cooks his, fakes it, shoots it. And they're going to We're going to call a travel on that by Cooksey. Scrantley's passing it in. He passes it to Holder. Wheeler drives it. Gives it to Jeff. Havlin still with the ball. Wheeler now has it. Now, I believe if, if they continued that screen that Havlin had set up, they might have been able to score, but they didn't, and ha uh, the Vikings were last to touch it, so Morgan Township gets to pass it in. Hamilton with the defense, but doesn't get it. Holder. Sprantley now has it, or not Sprantley, um, Havlin. Wheeler now has it. And if... Havlin would have moved. He would have had that ball for sure, but he moved as soon as they passed it. So, Tiffany Valley Viking get it, gets it, and Sheets is going to pass it into Cowan. Still a three-point difference. Not a lot of scoring in this quarter, so this might be a little scoring quarter, maybe even the entire game. Cooksey. Now, Cooksey hasn't been consistent with the threes. Normally he is. He's very good with the threes. I believe he's, like, top 10 in 3A with threes, and Johnson with the two drives it in. Now Johnson's with the most points on the court right now with seven. With one foul, though. I said Cooksey is still behind with six. Two fouls. Havlin with the ball now. Havlin passes it. And now Wheeler has it. Wheeler's going to drive it wide open. Cooksey goes for it. Makes it in. Still a three-point difference game. It's going to stay like that for a while, I believe. Cooksey with it. Sheets with it. Hamilton. Cooksey, the Sheets, Johnson, a lot of passing this game, Johnson using his body, charging up, oh, last touch hit the ref, so last touch by the Vikings, so Holder's going to pass it in, Wheeler gets it. Havlin. Havlin has four points. Wheeler now has it. Wheeler trying to find somebody. Has Finds Havlin. The holder. Holder's going to dribble, drive, shoots. Misses. Rebounded by Wheeler, but doesn't make it. Rebounded by Sheets. Cowan now has it. Cowan's with only two points. Even though he's had the ball the most, he's only shot it and made one point. Hamilton... Cuts the middle. Johnson to Cooksey. Johnson. Yeah, 
Now Johnson's got to rethink what he did because Cooksey would have made that if he didn't jump as far as he did. I believe that he could have got there and shot it, but he was too far out to shoot it. Cow needs to find somebody. Hamilton and Cooksey are both to his left and right. Cow doesn't know. Oh, he dribbles. Hamilton now with it. Nobody on him. Havlin's now on him with a minute and four seconds. Hamilton cuts through. Sheets. Cooksey. Cowan now has it. Digging their game plan. Coach is talking to them. Now they're going to waste a lot of time here. I don't know if they just don't know what to shoot. They don't know how to, what to do right now. I mean, like I said, Morgan Township just keeps a very nice defense. And they're, just gonna, they're just not going to shoot the ball. Or maybe they will. I don't know. Looks like they want to, but they're just like, I don't know if they're playing with the, with the, with the defense right now, but Con check the clock. It says 20 seconds. He's like, I'm going to go for it. He's going to keep dribbling. He's, he's playing with the defense. I mean, Wheeler, if he gets Wheeler to think that he's going to go for it, but he's just going to calm, play calm. Look, he's going to go for it. He's going to look. This is the Cooksey. Cooksey gets it after the run. She with the foul. Oh, no, never mind. It was a travel. I didn't see it from here. So after all that minute of a waste of time, ended up just being a travel anyways. So not a wait, so not such a good time of using the time. Or not a good way of using their time. So Wheeler, Hamilton on him. Hamilton getting the foul. Hamilton got a little mad about that. He doesn't think that he should have gotten that. But that should have been a foul. So they're just gonna pass it right back in. Havlin's gonna pass it in for the for uh, Morgan Township. And after the two seconds, we're gonna go to a 30 second ad break. And he's going to shoot it right over. Almost hits a kid, actually. And um, my name is Chase Howard. I'm with Max Ponder. And this, you are watching this on RTC TV 4. Timmy Valley Vikings versus Morgan Township. Okay, we are back. Still in the, we're, we're, excuse me, we're in the fourth quarter now, not the third quarter. So we have eight minutes, three-point difference. So after this game, Morgan Township is going to go up to Glenn. So Wheeler with the ball. Havlin now has it. Wheeler now gets it. Wheeler to Holder. Holder's going to drive it. Get to the paint. He's going to pass it right back to Havlin. Jeff. Jeff now has it. Havlin. The holder shoots it, makes the two. Like I, or excuse me, that was a three actually. And here I believe it was a two, but they're gonna call it a three anyways. So they've tied the game up. This is gonna be a very close game. It's gonna be a loud crowd once it, we get closer to the fourth quarter. And what? And Willingham misses it. Misses it. Oh, he's mad. I would be so mad too. He was wide open. I completely get it. It's okay. You know, his teammates are going to calm him down. It's like, hey, you know, we got more after this. We're all good shooters right here. So he's going to go in. I don't believe it was because of that, but he's, he's going to go in for a minute. So Sprantley's coming in. So Johnson's going to pass it to Cowan. Like I said, Cowan's had the ball a lot, but hasn't shot much, which is okay. He's had plenty of assists, though, so it's worth it. Akase with the ball now to Johnson. Johnson's passing to Cooksey. Cooksey makes Sprantley jumps. Akase now has it. Hamilton passes to Johnson. Fake passes it. Makes the three. I think this is, might have been the second three they've made tonight. Keep it calm with threes. Havlin wide open. Never mind. Or Akase comes up and finds him. Holder. Makes it. Responds right back. Tied the game right back up. So Calvin with the ball. It's Brantley. Or, uh, not excuse me, not Sprantley, but Holder is just had it. Dude, he is going crazy. He's thir he has 13 points, but so does Akase. Hamilton passes to Cowan. Now Johnson has it. Right to Akase, right open, makes it. And a foul, too. So, and one. He's going to get the and one. Hopefully, he makes this. We'll put it back to the three point difference. So, if 
Morgan Township wants to respond, then they're going to have to make another three, which, I mean, they've been promising with these threes. Again, like, if I was on the team, I would pass it to either Holder or Sprantley. Even Wheeler. I mean, Wheeler, he's got to the little comp, but he's made the threes too. Or not the threes, but he's just, I mean, he's been driving the ball a lot. I mean, he's just keeping the team. Like, he'll drive, get two guys on him, get the ball, get the ball right open to one of his teammates. Okase. If he makes it. Oh, he misses it. Jeff has it. Gives it to uh, Holder. Holder's past the half now. Brantley now has it. Brantley passes it straight to Jeff. Wide open. Great play right there. Game is tied once again. Every, every time. One of the teams has got to respond to the other. In this case, it's Morgan Township. Johnson. Oh, get, doesn't get the post, but Akase does. Akase gets it right there. So Sprantley, or uh, Holder gets it right instantly. They're trying to respond quick. Misses it. Rebounded. Last touch by Akase. But. I think I'm wrong. No, I was correct. Last touch by Akase. Yep. Sprantley's been passing it in. Holder. Holder's going to shoot, passes it, excuse me, Havlin now has it. And there's the, oh, travel. I was going to say, I don't believe there was a foul, but never mind, there was a travel. Acosta is going to pass it in for the Tiffany Valley Vikings again. Vikings are up by two. If they can keep this for five minutes and just keep continue their, their lead, this would give them a nice promised lead and score 2-2. They'll keep their uh, record 2-2 and uh, make Morgan Township 3-2. Acosta with the ball now. Cowan now back with it. Cowan. Lobs it to Akase. Akase makes it. Nice vision. I mean, they're just great communication. I mean, this is nice. This is what I like to see. Sprantley behind the back to Jeff and makes it in. Again, responds, but again, the Vikings are still up. Cowan with it. Cowan the Cooksey. That's a foul on Morgan Township. I was going to say, Havlin looked like he was like tripping up, but it, it ended up causing a foul. So this is the third in this quarter with Vikings having none in this quarter. So Vikings have calmed down on the fouls. Less travels, and now looks like Morgan Township is causing more fouls. So Cowan with the ball. Cooksey now has it. Cooksey's a good shooter. If he can shoot it, the three, he can, this would be really nice. Make it a bigger lead, five points. And just completely loses it. I... I don't know. Today's just not his game, but Akase with 19 points. Right behind him with Johnson, seven. Cowan passes to Johnson. Johnson needs to find somebody. Cooksey now going to shoot the three. Misses it. Rebounded by Havlin. Wheeler now has it. Sprantley. The holder. Sprantley with the ball. His teammates are communicating with him. There's a right to uh, have one. Sprantley, or uh, Holder now has it. Jeff lobs it all the way to Wheeler. Wheeler's going to drive it up. Have one. The Jeff. Jeff wants to shoot it, but now Holder has it. Holder's going to spin to a post move. Passes it right back to Jeff. Jeff shoots the three, misses it. Rebounded by Holder and makes it. Ties the game right back up. Three minutes and 12 seconds in, into the fourth quarter. Or left into the quarter. Kase with the ball now. I believe the Vikings shoot a three. This is, is going to be nice. It gives them a bigger lead than just two points. And a travel. I mean, Akase with a surprise look. He doesn't believe that there should have been a travel there. But they're going to continue playing. I mean, like I said, there's th less than now three minutes just right under it. 41-41. Sprantley passes to Jeff. The holder. The holder misses it. Akase with the rebound. 
and a the timeout of the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. My name is Chase Howard. You're watching us on RTC TV4, Tippecanoe Valley Vikings against Morgan Township. And we'll be right back. The Vikings get the ball. Johnson's going to pass it in for the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. He's going to pass it to Parker. Parker now has it. Parker's now past the half. Cowan with the ball. Screen set by Akase. Cowan right out. Jumps all the way out to pass it. Parker. Now Parker's a good three-point shooter on the JV. I've seen him play. He's a good he's a good shooter too. But the difference between JV and varsity is the intensity. So he's got to worry about the intensity before he makes anything or tries anything. Cowan needs to find somebody. Finds Akase. Yeah, I've seen Akase play a lot in the perimeter. He's not playing as much in the paint. I think he's trying to spread out. There's a right to see again. A nice, and it's going to be an and one. Sends Akase to the paint. So now this is where they're going to make the three-point difference. Now, Akase has been so good on his free throws, so hopefully he makes this and makes a three-point difference. I mean, everyone here is wishing on the Tampa Valley Vikings side that Akase makes this, make it three points. Now again. Morgan Township is a good three-point shooting team, but as long as Vikings keep the pressure and not cause any fouls, and even if they do, it's just going to send them and make them shoot two. They're not going to shoot three, so maybe they'll they'll risk a few fouls since they haven't shot and made any fouls in this quarter. And he makes it. This is one of his few that he's made tonight. Holder now has it. Holder's going to wave off his team. He's going to find some opening. Hammond's going to set up a screen. Wheeler now has it. Wheeler's going to move around a little bit, trying to find some opening. Jeff now has it. Jeff to Wheeler. Jeff loses it, but gets it right back. Bounce right off his knee. Holder. See, no one's in the paint because I think the... I think or the uh, Morgan Township is just trying to shoot a three, so they're trying to keep away from the perimeter or keep in the perimeter and stay away from the paint so they can win. Definitely so, eating at their time, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, a minute 18. They don't want to waste too much time because if they waste this time and don't make anything, then it wasn't worth it after all. This has happened with the Vikings. They did this and they didn't come out. Jeff, he doesn't want to shoot it, so I don't think he's a consistent shooter. He's been He's got the ball a lot. It has been open, but and I was going to say Morgan Township is definitely, I was going to say, they're probably waiting for a timeout. So Morgan yeah, they, Township called that timeout. Yeah, they got to do something before they run the clock out. I know they're about to run the clock out. Three-point difference. I mean, I, I could tell they were gonna. Sh they wanted to find someone open for that three. Nobody was in the perimeter. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one was in the paint. Everybody was in the perimeter. All five of their players. I mean, like I said, this is a team that I could tell is all shooters. And and, and real respectfully, no one on this team is crazy high. I mean, Jeff, I think I believe is the tallest guy, six four. And everyone's about six two below. Which is perfectly fine because they're, they're a good team and they're proving it. Since I mean, the Vikings is a very tall team. I mean, everyone on there is very big. I mean, Cowan might be the only one that's smaller on there, but that's completely fine with a big team. I mean, big team, big defense. So, but like I said, but with a little team, you got great defense. I mean, uh, not a little team, but in height wise, they're all shooters. And I mean, I mean, but they've kept the defense up. I mean, that's why the game is so close as it is. So Morgan Township keeps the ball. Sprantling's going to pass it in. Minute and five seconds. Three-point difference. Vikings are up. They would definitely want this since Morgan Township is a three and one. Their, their rank is th or their score is three and one. This would make them look a lot better being a three and one team since they're one and two. This would make them two and two. They definitely want this. Havlin has it. Holder. He's going to drive it. Misses it. Rebounded by Akase. Now they might want to just hold on to the ball, but yeah, they're going to try to they're going to play hard defense, press, full court press. That's what they're going to do. they got four guys all in the other side of the half, which is not too smart. And timeout by the Vikings. I mean, Coach is just mad. He's like, come on. My name is Chase Howard. I'm with Max Ponder, and you are watching us on RTC TV 14 New Valley Vikings versus Morgan Township, and we will be right back after this 30-second half. The Vikings have kept a very close game, same with Morgan Township. I mean, defense on both sides are really good, but obviously someone is standing out more than the other, and that would be the Vikings since they're up by three. 42 seconds, they keep the ball. So either the, the Vikings might get fouled, and that would be nice. I mean, look, they get fouled. Yep, there's the foul right there. There's the personal foul. And this is the fifth foul in the quarter. This is 
a little crazy. So this is going to send Johnson to the line. I don't think I've seen Johnson at the line, so I don't know how good his, his free throws are, but hopefully they're good enough to keep, if he shoots two, makes the Vikings a five-point difference. This is what they need. Makes the one. So this makes it four at least. Four. You can't shoot four-pointers in the game, so, I mean, they're going to shoot a three and get a steal, rebound, something. I just don't see, I don't see Morgan Township getting out of this, but I won't say that because I don't want to jinx it. So let's hope Johnson makes this one. Oh, he does miss it, though. Sprantling with the rebound. They're going to play fast now. They're going to run everything. They're gonna, they might have to drive everything because threes are going to be hard. Wheeler, Sprant, Sprantling with it. Wheeler with the ball. Havlin open. Holder, there he is. Holder's going to run it. Foul. Twenty-four seconds left. Foul number one, Davis Bowen, his second, team's first. So he's going to put him on the line. So that's good for the Vikings. They don't want him in the line. Oh, misses it. Oh, yeah, the crowd is mad. Twenty seconds. It's Eighteen seconds. Akase has been fouled. I'm just going to say here. I believe the Vikings have won. There's no way in 18 seconds that they're going to they're going to make at least a three and then get a steal and have to make either, and make a two, at least a two. So I just don't see that. It's not very realistic. And it's because Akase is at the at the line, he's shooting for two. He's he can make both of these. And it's, it's just going to be an, an, a, a pretty much impossible chance for them to catch up. Oh, he does miss he does miss the one, but if he makes one that does make it. A uh, five-point difference. Five points is very hard to get back from, especially with 18 seconds. There's just going to be a lot of pressuring, and everything is just going to be full-court press. Kase, he misses both. So Holder with the ball now. Holder's rushing. He's got it. See, he's got to be quick with it. Shoots a three, misses it. Bounce right off the Havlin. Shoots another three, makes the three. Six seconds. I they're gonna call timeout. One point difference. I don't know. I I don't know this. But right after this timeout, the Vikings are gonna get the ball. So with eight with uh, six seconds, they're just gonna hold the ball, get fouled. Hopefully they get to one of their shooters. I would give it to Hamilton. Hamilton's out there. He's one of the best free throws, free throw shooters that they have. Akase obviously wouldn't be a good one since he's always made a, only two of his many that he's made. So I what I would do is give it to Hamilton. Give Hamilton get past it in. Of course, they're going to cause a foul if anything. If they do cause a foul, that's what I'm saying. If, if uh, then Akase, or not Akase, um, Hamilton will get the ball or get the free throw, shoot for two. Then it will be a three point, or uh, yeah, I believe a three point difference. And then they're going to have to make another three, which would tie up the game, go to overtime. So no one, you know, it's going to be a, I don't know. This is going to be a, it's a lot. I mean, that's what I would do. If I was a coach, I would send Hamilton out there. Because he's consistent with his free throws. And, it, and honestly, they just need to make one because then, if anything, again, Ham, Ham, or Hamilton, or not Hamilton, Morgan is going to have to shoot a three to win this if, since they're most likely going to foul this and get a personal foul. So let's see if I was correct. Let's hope. Or maybe get, like I said, maybe not just Hamilton because I don't know how many of their free throws are good. But So it, it's not going to be Hamilton since he's not in. But Parker's going to throw it in. Hopefully... Not to Akase. If they want to win this, they're going to pass it to either Cooksey. Johnson's pretty good with his, but Cooksey, I feel like, is way consistent. Cowan is pretty consistent. Five seconds. There's the foul. Five seconds left. Right on the clock. Five on the dot. Cowan's going to be at the line. Shooting for two. He's got to make both of these to make to tie up the game no matter what happens. Whatever Morgan Township does, there's going to be. There he goes, makes the one. He's got to make one more if he wants to tie it up no matter what Morgan Township shoots. As long as they don't foul when they shoot the three, because if they make it, that'd be four points if they make the free throw as well. So it's definitely not what the Vikings want. That would be a miracle, though. Let's see, let's see if Cowan makes it. He's got to make this last one. Oh, yes, he makes it. I almost felt said he, he missed it, but no. Now it's a three-point difference. The Vikings can't foul. They, or maybe they actually know no, I'm completely wrong. This is actually I'm wrong. This is what they want to do. They want to foul this. 2.8 seconds on the clock. This is Cowan. His third. Say Cowan. This is his third. Second by the Vikings. Okay. 
Oh no, so two seconds left on the clock. It's Ooh, gonna be very two hard. Two seconds. For them. Two seconds is de definitely possible. Oh, they got change it three oh eight. Oh, they changed it to three oh eight. I don't know why because it definitely was two eight. They stopped it perfectly, but you know three. Again, we'll we'll we'll, we'll uh, estimate or not estimate. We'll. Uh, I don't even know what I'm about to say, but we'll just make it four seconds. Four seconds is definitely possible very. to make a three. But Yeah, to make a three to take it to overtime. And because the Vikings aren't in bonus, or they are in the bonus, but because Morgan Township isn't in the bonus, no matter what foul happens, unless it's a shooting foul um, and by a shot, I mean, it's just that's the only way the Vikings are going to, uh, or the, way that, the only way that Morgan Township is going to go to the line. So hopefully they come up with a smart plan, the Vikings do, to stop them. Again, three-point difference. Morgan Township is good with the threes. So, but it's a lot of pressure. I mean, they're all, they're all thinking we need to make the threes. We need threes. We need threes. That's all they can say to themselves. We need to make the three. And now when I say this place is shaking, I'm, I kid you not, this place is shaking. People are excited. This is one of the most exciting games. Cooksey jumping up. And a travel. Yes, it's over. Morgan Township is not winning this. Two seconds, no matter what happens, it's over. The Vikings have won this. This will make Vikings 2-2 two and two in the ranking. They're not in a conference. They're freelancing right now. A lot of people are standing on their feet praying, but, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's over. No matter what, and Acosta gets it, and it's over. He can shoot, and it's over. It don't matter. It don't matter. It is over. The Vikings have won. This is their second game they've won in a row. Vikings are very happy. This wasn't the team they probably they were they weren't sure about. I wouldn't say they weren't gonna they weren't suspecting this, but you know, Acosta thought he's about to shoot at the free throw since they was fouled at the last second. But game's over. They don't need it. The Vikings have won. This is a very this is one of the best games I've seen in a long time. I don't know. This, I don't know what could beat this. I mean. Very happy. Score was 47-44. Stephen Acasse for the Vikings had the most points, 22 points, with Johnson right behind him with eight, and for Morgan Township, uh, Holder with or 18 points, not 21, excuse me, 18 points, and uh, Hayden uh, Grieger uh, right behind him with six. I mean, he he was one of the or I, he was one of the unexpected ones. I didn't really see him out there shooting too much, but obviously he shot enough to be up there. Um, so this is a very great game. Uh, my name is Chase Thompson.